Hello YouTube, Van Danny Grandma here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to have another big gat giveaway. I have 5,000 subscribers. I'm close to 6,000 and I've because of my 5,000 subscribers I'm going to have a live stream every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time and I'll be giving away prizes every Monday. So be sure to come on by and join the live stream and hear how you can enter each giveaway and you may be the lucky winner. My last giveaway last Monday was for an Ocedar mop. It was a fancy hand spray mop, uh, Pro Mist, Pro Mist spray mop. And E.K. Hill won that in the random giveaway. And this week we're having another giveaway and I'll announce that after a few people come in so I know people are hearing it. Uh, my, um, no, I hope I'm back. I switched internets. Mine is kind of crummy and my daughter Mandy lives downstairs and she's not here so I jumped on her internet. Shh. Sometimes that works better. So hopefully you can all see me now. All right, I see some people coming in. I see Judy. Hello, Judy. Hello, Victoria. Vicki. Hello, Brenda from 1800 Homestead. Duncan, 1800. Deborah E. Hello. I see Kate. Hello, Kate. Thank you for moderating. Kate is a wonderful, wonderful moderator. Uh, yes, please give me the thumbs up. That helps my channel a lot. So, I, uh, hopefully you heard, we're going to be, oh, I lost the picture. Come back. Come back, come back, come back. Uh, all right, there. Uh, we're going to be making salmon patties today, and I'm going to be giving away an apron. I'm going to be show you some more fabrics I'm going to be working on to make aprons. And I'm going to show you a few other things that's happening around here. Uh, did you read my comment in the last video, Jason? I did, but not knowing who you are or what you're about and not being able to find you when I, picked, when I clicked on your channel thing, I can't respond to that. You're going to have to uh, let me know who you are and what's going on so I can respond and uh, let you know what's what and if I'm interested. Okay, there's my daughter Jen. Jen is going to be donating a prize for this one of my Monday giveaways too. Jen is a nature photographer and uh, she travels all over the United States taking nature photos, beautiful work. Her work is on jlgould.com, G-O-U-L-D. And she's going to give away a $40 print, which is I think an eight by 10 or an eight by 12, something like that. Of your choice, you can go to her site and pick out any print. So one of these Mondays, I'm going to be announcing that, and Jen's going to give that away. So that's a lovely prize. Uh, okay, let's see. Before I get busy here, Tina, hello, Tina. Laura, hello, Laura, honey. Laura is a very faithful subscriber. Find, oh yes, find Susie Bandana on Facebook. I'm not Bandana Graham on Facebook, I'm Susie Bandana. And you can see how it's spelled up in Kate's announcement. Okay, I'm going to show you the apron that's going to be given away at the end of this video, end of this live stream. Here's the apron. And I had purchased a very simple apron, this, this nice twill fabric. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I'd like to keep it <laughs> as a pocket. But it came with these really chintzy, the straps were just this piping stuff. You know, this, uh, yeah, the seam cover here. That's all, they were short. They weren't nice. So I got my fabric out and I had a nice long, good quality, um, strings there and at the neck and I added the ruffle so now I have embellished this apron into a very nice apron 
and we're going to give this away at the end of this video. And how you enter to win the prize is you go to my video from last Monday, the one that talks about the Oceder mop. And somewhere in the comments there, you just got to go in and say, I would like the apron or nice, anything with the word apron in it, nice apron, because I'm going to have a um, randomizer machine gizmo pick out one comment that has the word apron in it and that that person will be the winner has to be continental usa i can't go mailing this all over the world because it costs a lot of money so continental usa if you're in the uh, uh, states down here uh, i can mail this off to you as soon as uh within a day or two after it's chosen so good luck and make sure you comment something about an apron on that video. You can do that now. Maybe Kate can put in a link to that video I'm talking about, last Monday's video about giving away the mop. So that's what's happening there. Now to show you what else I'm going to be working on, I have three more of those aprons. And these I'm going to be selling. And here's... A red one with apples and I'll show you that these aren't embellished yet they will be embellished see they just came with these little strings like this don't like them so I'm going to make nice hefty strings out of this and I'm going to be putting a red ruffle on the bottom and selling that apron and that'll be uh, $16 shipped for this apron so they're quite reasonable like when I make them from scratch I have to charge quite a bit more and I put a lot more work into them but because this one came partially done and I just embellish it I can sell them for 16 shipped that's with the shipping so that's gonna be one you can watch my Facebook page to see when they are ready and up another one I have is this one more pretty fabric with roses and again not so great strings. I'm going to be making and embellishing with the green that matches the leaves and putting a ruffle on with this as well. So that'll be the rose one. And the last one is plums. <laughs> Here's a purple one with plums. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to do the same thing and I'll be using this fabric to make strings, make the ties, and put a ruffle on the bottom. So those are the apple, the roses, and the plums are the next ones to be done. Then, after I'm done embellishing, I'm going to get back to making my own aprons. And I've got a bunch of cute fabric here. You've seen this one before, the kitchen utensils. I'll be making more uh, aprons out of this. I've also got a little more of this. And I'll be making some aprons out of the cherry fabric, cherry and country blue. And then I recently picked up these cute fabrics. And I'm going to make some out of this and out of this and out of this gray and maroon one. So, and I'm sure I've got more fabrics down. I've got a lot of fabric. I've got more downstairs. And I'll be mixing and matching salads, solids with them making them really cute ruffle one ruffle two ruffles ruffles on the maybe ruffles on the shoulder pockets deep pockets maybe maybe garden aprons where you have room maybe uh egg collecting aprons i'll be making more so now we're going to get to making salmon patties i made some last week and my husband absolutely loves them i know they're not for everybody not everybody likes them but my husband liked them so much, he raved about them. And then a few days later, he went out and he came back with another can of salmon, the can of salmon I have over here, because he wanted me to make them again. So that's what we're going to do right now, is mix up the salmon patties. I'm not going to cook them here in front of you, because we're going to go do that drawing for the apron, and I don't want to take time frying them up. But you'll see me make up at least the patties. Okay, let's see if I can get you in close enough to get a good view. I think that'll do it. All right, I'm 
going to put onion and celery in these patties. I have, I'm going to call that a quarter cup of onion. The recipe calls for a quarter cup of onion. And you know what? I want to make it minced. So I'm going to, I'm going to change these cutters and make it a smaller mince rather than a diced. Same with the celery. I'm going to put a stalk of celery, mince it up. We're going to ignore my telephone. It happens every time I live stream, I get a phone call. Okay. So there we got celery, celery and onion, all nicely small dice, a mince. It's usually a telemarketer anyway. And I just hang up on because I'm mean like that. All right, gonna open a can of salmon. I've already washed the top. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my new microphone on. I'm gonna go get it. We're gonna drain the salmon. My new microphone's in on my desk. I'm going to run get it, plug it in my iPad here, and hopefully you'll be able to hear even better. Okay, I'm back. I'm plugging it in. Now I'm going to put it on my lapel or ear. There, is that any better? I'm going to watch the comments for a minute to see if uh, it's any better. Yes, the chopper. This chopper is great. This one, I've got, I've had three different ones of these because I end up breaking them, but they're cheap and I love them, so I keep getting them. This one is. It's a different brand than I've had before. It's called a Crofton. I got it at Aldi. And I think it was between $8 and $10. It wasn't much. And it does great. Okay, now it's loud. Shh, I'll talk. I'll talk softer. <laughs> now my cell phone's ringing. That means it's a family member. I better check and see what's going on. Make sure it's okay. Just a moment. I'm sorry. Heidi. Hello. I'm in. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, oh, I'm in the middle of a live stream and I told everybody, wait, and they're watching me talk to you on the phone. <laughs> so I just want to make sure you're okay. Oh, all right. As soon as my live stream is over, I'll take a look around, see if I can find them. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait. I see them. I see them. Wait a minute. Yes, they're over. Let me see. They got a pink key on it. Yeah, yeah, they're on my, uh, they're on the hutch in the kitchen. Okay. No, dad went for a run. He won't be home for about an hour. All right, honey. Love you. Bye. Heidi wanted to come visit, and she left her car keys here last night. <laughs> so I guess she's not coming. Okay, back to business. Now, so this is loud enough now with me just talking normal? Let me know. I usually have to talk way up over my comfort zone because my little mic inside my iPad doesn't work well enough. So, oh, probably doesn't work. <laughs> Shh. 
Okay, there. One, two, three. How's that? Just talking normal. Okay. All righty. Now. All right. I'm glad it worked. You know, this thing only cost $22, so I am thrilled that it worked. Okay. Back to the business of cooking. Got my celery and my onion in my bowl. All right. It says put in a beaten egg. Well, you know what? I don't have another bowl here. I'm just going to put the egg in. We'll pretend I beat it. I beat it up. Okay. And I forgot the mayonnaise. Just a minute. I thought I was prepared, but I wasn't. I almost yelled at you because I forgot the mic is on me. And I'm thinking I got to yell because the mic is in the, on the iPad and I'm walking away from it. Okay. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. One. Two. One and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. One. And a half. Okay. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. I got a real lemon here, so I'm just going to squeeze it. Hope I don't get a zillion seeds in there. Try and pick some of them out here ahead of time. All right, it was one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. There's a seed. One. Okay, one teaspoon of dry mustard. One teaspoon of dry mustard. Let me put it down so you can see better. Sorry. All right, two tablespoons of Vegetable oil or olive oil. I'm using olive oil. One. Two. It's rainy here today. I want to take you out and show you how I started my gardens and how we're working in the yard because it was such a mess and we're getting it looking decent again. But it's all rainy outside. We're also going to be working on my porch again very soon. If you've watched my videos, you know, one of my very bad habits is every winter throwing stuff on the back porch. Don't know what to do with this. Throw it on the back porch. Throw it on the back porch. Then spring comes and my porch is like a hoarder's house. <laughs> so every spring I have to clean up that porch again. And I've made videos and people seem to enjoy watching me clean up that terribly, terribly messy back porch and make it look nice again with tables and chairs and a, a napping bed and things like that. And then I start doing my videos out there. And this year I hope to take my sewing machine out there and make some videos out of my back porch overlooking my gardens. Uh, it's a screen back porch. And do it out there. It'd be nice until it gets hot and humid. Okay, see if I got everything. Now the salmon, I'll put that in. Now some people like to pick the, the bones out, but these bones are so soft, if I just mash them up, you don't even know they're there. You can, they're just super soft and it's a lot of calcium. And if you don't like this, if you think that sounds yucky, then don't do it. But we enjoy it and it's, it's a lot better for you. So in goes the salmon. This is a 14 and three quarter ounce can of salmon. Just a, any kind of salmon you want to get. Okay. I've reserved the liquid from it, just in case after I mix everything up, it's, the patty seems a little dry, we can, we could, uh, the patty mixture seems a little dry, we could add the salmon back into it, the salmon uh, juice. 
Alrighty. Now, back down. I'll look at your comments in a sec. Back down to the mixture. Let's get that egg beat up. I gotta put breadcrumbs in too. Now this is one to two eggs. I'll look at it and decide if I need more. I put one in. I, I got all the ingredients except the breadcrumbs. Oh, wait a minute. No, I didn't. I wanted to put a little salt in and pepper. I'm going to put, because the, the salmon's kind of salty, I'm going to put like half a teaspoon of salt in and a little pepper. And I'm also going to add a squirt of hot sauce just because. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. But here's a little hot sauce just to give them a little oomph. I like to put a little squirt of hot sauce in. And we're going to add a quarter cup of here of breadcrumbs. These are seasoned breadcrumbs, so they already have Italian seasoning on them. Of course, we also like the Obey seasoning. So I'm going to put a little Obey in there. I guess that's an Italian fisherman now, because it's Italian seasoning and Old Bay. So here we go. Mix it up. Mix it up well so the seasonings go through every bit of it and you don't get one patty with a lot and one patty with none. All right, now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it could use a, another egg just for binding. Now you want to you want to check it out because a lot of things can affect it. I'm also going to add more breadcrumbs. Okay, that's about an eighth of a cup more. I'll be putting this recipe down below in the show more section. Okay, that's better. But I am going to get another egg. Back to the fridge. Another egg. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm going to fry these in olive oil or whatever oil you like. Olive oil can smoke at a low temperature, so sometimes that's a little iffy. I definitely do not need any more of the juice from the salmon. So we're going to get rid of that. I'll show you something I do. I learned this from Daddy Curbs. Kate knows who Daddy Curbs is. Daddy Curbs Farm is a wonderful channel. What he taught me was, when I use eggs, keep a disposable container in my oven. Throw the shells in there. Like this. Okay, shells. Shells are in there, and then I put them in my cold oven, like this, just set them in there. And now next time I cook something, I'll be toasting up those eggshells and killing the salmonella and bacteria in there. I don't have to take special time to do it, just leave them in there, next time you bake it happens. And then I run them through one of my coffee grinder things, make a powder out of it, and it goes into my garden. It's a simple way to do it. You don't have to spend extra time, you know, cooking them down or anything. So there's a little hint from Daddy Curbs through Bandana Grandma. And I do recommend his channel, Daddy Curbs Farm, or Blake, Blake Kirby. Alrighty, there it is all mixed up. I'm going to rinse off this and then make a few patties. And then I'm going to read your comments. Right. Take out, you know, I don't know, how much is that? 
I'll measure, I'll measure it for you just so we know. Yeah, about a half a cup. About a half a cup of mixture makes a nice patty. And I'm going to just do that. I suppose if you wanted to, you could dredge them in a little flour or cornmeal. I'm not going to. I'm just going to form them. About a half inch thick. Make little salmon patties. It's good when we have some of these left over because my husband will eat them for lunches. He can put them in sandwiches. He really enjoys them. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five. Looks like you can get six healthy salmon patties out of this. I hope you can still hear me loud and clear because I'm trying to remember I don't have to talk as loud anymore. Because before I got this mic, everybody was saying, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. And I would have to talk unusually loud. Okay, you can, you know, pretty them up a little bit if you want to. Make them a little rounder, whatever. But I don't want to spend time doing that. We're going to put some of the things in my sink. To rinse them out. Clean as you go. It's something I'm trying to do because otherwise I have huge messes. So I'm rinsing and putting the dirty utensils in my dish pan. Rinsing the salmon top, can top, and the salmon can so it doesn't stink up my trash can. Or recycling bin, I should say. Alrighty, there's that. And I suppose if I was super frugal, I could find a use for this salmon juice, but I'm tossing it. I'm not going to use it. I could make a salmon gravy or something like that. That's what happened then today. I've got too much to do, including have a drawing for that apron. All right, I wash my hands. Don't need fishy hands. You ever hear that trick that if you have a fishy smell or an onion smell on your hands, that won't come out? If, if you rub your hands on stainless steel, it's supposed to take it away. I don't smell any fish, so <laughs> maybe it works. All right, we're gonna leave the salmon patties right here for now. And we're going to go into the office in just a second so I can have the drawing for the apron. Now, I, I'm hoping, pardon me, I got a little runny nose here. I'm hoping Kate put the link in. I, I'll have to go back and see. But um, if you comment apron on the O Cedar Mop video, that's the video I'm going to use to, ra to have the randomizer choose a name in just a couple minutes to pick a winner for the apron. But first I'm gonna look at your comments and see if I could do it quickly. Looks like there was a lot of comments while I was working. See, th this is where it helps if I had somebody right here because they could read the comments to me. I'm trying to talk my husband into doing that. I almost got him convinced before, but then I don't have a cell phone and he would have to be right here looking in, he doesn't like to be on camera, or I could pull it up on my um, Kindle, and I couldn't get it to come up on my Kindle last time I tried. Working on your porch and videoing from there sounds nice. Yeah, it is nice, and I love napping out there too. Even when it's raining, I love the sound of rain on the porch roof. She would put a little rag over the cut side of the lemon and the seeds wouldn't come out. Okay, that sounds smart. It sounds like my house, utility room. Yeah, I do it every year. Every year I say, I'm not going to do it this year. I'm not going to junk up my porch in the winter. But I do, every year. Um, bad bandana, Grandma. 
Okay, people have thunderstorms. We had rain all night and it's raining now, but no thunder. Lovely and sunny where Elizabeth is. Out of Goshen. I see somebody saying hi to you. Oh, there, there they are. Yay, it's Susie Bandana. Hello. That must be Eric. That sounds like Eric talking. <laughs> Hello, Eric. Out of Goshen, another wonderful channel, beautiful family. All right, let me see if I missed anything before we go have that drawing. And if I did, forgive me. Oh my, trees down. Judy, Judy Bunn had tornadoes with trees down 50 miles away. Scary stuff. Ellie, hello. Let's see, Etsy store, yes, my Etsy store is there. I'm gonna be adding those aprons to my Etsy store. I'll probably put them on my Facebook page too. Sometimes I can sell them for a few dollars less on my Facebook page because Etsy store charges fees. Alrighty. Oh, goody, out of Goshen loves salmon patties. Well, my husband loves them too. Alrighty, are we just about down here? People are talking to Kate, they're talking to each other. Somebody needs, Elizabeth needs shea butter. I'm going to be making soap soon too and also salves and lotions from my garden herbs. And I'm going to be making those uh, waxed fabric uh, bowl covers. Thank you, Kate. You're doing a marvelous job. Okay, I don't want to be reading comments and boring everybody watching the replay. So I'm going to flip through and if something jumps out at me, I'll answer it. Otherwise, maybe you can write it to me in an email or on my Facebook page or put it at the bottom and when I look on this again I might see it. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and have a drawing for that apron. <laughs> I still love you, Laura. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. We're going to go in and draw for that apron. I'll take the apron with me. And I'm picking you all up. Hang on. I'm picking you all up as we leave my kitchen. Oh, I got to show you. Oh, that. Uh oh. Wait a minute. My microphone wire is hung up. There. Some of you know that my daughter Heidi had a little baby six months ago. And I watch him six, uh, four days a week. <laughs> well, look what my house has turned into. Okay, there's a high chair. <laughs> there's a baby monitor so we can see him when he's sleeping in the crib. There's a crib in my bedroom. There's a swing. There's a baby jumper. <laughs> and there's a, a stroller on my back porch. So, yeah, our house is turning into a nursery. But we love having him here. All right, now we're going into the office. And I'm going to pull up the randomizer on my computer. And we're going to draw for a winner. I'm going to remove the camera from my tripod. And show my computer screen okay and there's the randomizer 
Okay, this is the video that I'm going to be choosing a name from. This is the video about the Oceder Power Miss Mop giveaway, but this time we're giving away this apron. Are you all ready? All those who commented with the word apron in this video are eligible. But remember, only the continental USA. I cannot ship out of, out of uh, the country. And I'm gonna go over here where it says, pick a winner. See right there, it says, pick a winner. And I'm gonna pull that up. Okay, comments must contain the word. And I'm gonna type in apron, A-P-R-O-N, apron. Comment must contain the word apron. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pick a winner. Whose ever name comes up, they're getting the apron. Denise W, I want that apron. It is beautiful and I love aprons. Well, Denise, you're getting the apron. I hope you're in the chat. Uh, Denise, I'll need you to send me your mailing address so I can mail the apron off to you. Congratulations, everybody congratulate Denise. <laughs> yep, there, there's the winner, Denise. Now, for next week, what do you think we're going to give away next week? Well, I'm going to pull up something here and show you. Hopefully it's still here. Yep. All right, let me get rid of this and get rid of this. Okay. My sister Jody uh, sells jewelry, and she sells paparazzi jewelry. It's wonderful jewelry. It's only $5 a piece and it's gorgeous. And I got a sneeze coming. I'm fighting it. <laughs> but they also sell their elite, more premium jewelry. And that sells for $25, not $5. And it's a little higher grade jewelry. And she has said that she's going to donate one of those expensive Z pieces of the paparazzi jewelry. And this is what she's donating. I'm turning it around. And now this will be next Monday. Uh, wait, it might not be next Monday. It might be the Monday after because we're traveling to New York. And if I can't pull up the randomizer on my sister's computer, I think I can. But if there's a problem, we're going to have to do it the week after that. So just to be clear, it'll probably be next Monday. If I can't do it while we're traveling, it'll be the Monday after. So this is what it's going to be. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures. That set of earrings and necklace. And there's a close-up of it. It's got a big emerald-shaped diamond-type stone there. It's got three different uh, chains coming down, heavy set chains. And then that bar is like a pave. See all the little stones in that? Or I don't know if it's stones or if it's just sparkly cuts. I can't tell from here. But I can read you what she told me. Let's see. She says, a large emerald cut rhinestone drips below a mashup of oversized silver chains, creating a beautiful contrast of industrial edge and timeless sparkle. A bowing silver bar encrusted in dazzling white rhinestone, so it is like a pave, adorns the topmost silver chain, adding blinding shimmer to the glitzy design, featuring an adjustable clasp closure named after the 2018 rock and runway winner Stacy C. So we'll get rid of that. And there's what's going to be given away on the next Monday uh, giveaway. So in order to enter this, you need to go to the video that I'm making now, this very one. You can't comment now because that's in the uh, chat. You got to be in the video comments, not in the live stream chat. So after this goes up, go back to the same video and in the chat, write down, I would love, I would love the necklace. That's enough. You know, uh, I also want you to know that my sister Jody live streams every Sunday morning and every Friday night and her jewelry is lovely. I hope that's straight. Is that backwards or straight to you? But that's her business card. And you can find her channel. If you just put Jody Malm, M-A-L-M, that's enough. If you can't remember Brendan Stuhl, 
uh, but she's a consultant for paparazzi and she's doing very well and she loves it, the jewelry and she loves being a, a rep, uh, independent consultant. And you can contact her and find some gorgeous jewelry for only $5. Now this sets a lot more money, but most everything else she has is $5. Each necklace comes with a free pair of matching earrings and it's lead and nickel free. Go take a look. Friday nights, go take a look at her uh, live streams. Or uh, Sunday morning, she has one. And she has one in between sometimes, too. So she has a Facebook page also. You can check her out. So, okay. If you if you don't wear jewelry, fine. Don't enter. We'll have a lot more giveaways coming up with something other than jewelry. But for those of you who love jewelry, I wear jewelry. Uh, I don't have any on today. I should have put her, her one of her pieces on. So, yeah. So let me look at the comments again and see if I need to answer some questions. Okay, Build on the Rock is an admin for part-time permies. It's a hard job. Yeah, it is a hard job and Kate is so great at it. I am so blessed that Kate agreed to do my live streams for me as a moderator. She's wonderful. Yeah. Link to my Etsy store. Yeah, keep checking back there. I'm going to be adding things to that. All right, everybody's congratulating Denise. Woohoo! All right, who's that? Brenda. Brenda who? Somebody say hello to Brenda. Which Brenda? Brenda Maniac Grammy or Brenda My New Me? That's a two. Or Brenda uh, Duncan 1800. All right, Duncan. Duncan 1800, I see. Hello, Brenda. I thought I saw you earlier, though. Is there another Brenda in here? Okay. When did you say the photo drawing? I didn't, but it's very likely it will be after the uh, jewelry drawing. I haven't decided. We'll see. I'm also going to be giving away one of Tara's books. And I've been in contact with her. I'm not sure if we're going to be giving away the classic Dining on, the Dime, on a Dime or the new 20th anniversary Dining on a Dime. But we're going to be giving away one of those books. And another apron somebody else are, somebody else is uh, making as well as myself. Yes, I thought you were. What is there another is there another Brenda in here? I know three Brendas that frequent that frequent the uh, live streams. So I was wondering if there was more than one in here. Okay. Not going to bore you. I'm going to go. Uh, thank you for joining me today every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be doing a live stream and giving something away. This is because I've reached 5,000 subscribers. And in fact, I'm almost at 6,000. I'm so blessed. If I never get another subscriber, I'm happy. I never dreamed I'd, I'd make 6,000, 5,000 or 6,000 subscribers. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm overjoyed when I get another subscriber. I just can't believe it. And I'm overjoyed when somebody shares one of my videos. Uh, or write such a nice comment to me, tell me they like what I'm doing, or they liked my sewing, or they liked my poncho, or they like what I'm doing in my garden. I am going to be going out in my garden, and I'm going to be showing you my espalier fruit trees. Uh, some of you were with me at the very beginning when I planted them, and they were just four foot sticks. And now they've, they went like 10, 12 feet tall, and they're branched out, and it's only been four years, and they're full of fruit this year. I actually cut them way back because I want to keep them more dwarf size. And we're espaliering some of them into a living fence around where our seating area is for the family. So we can have a pickable living fence. And I'm training the, the branches to grow into a fence shape. So yeah, I'll be showing you that. And I'm planting my veggies and I'm still dealing with that awful poison ivy that's all over my stockade fence. So I got to deal with that too. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for joining me. Whoops. Wow. Wow. Don't do that. I don't need any close-ups. <laughs> oh.
Okay. Yes. I have another right there. Uh, Kate put in a link for Dining on a Dime cookbook. If you order their classic edition, if there's still some in there, they're half off now. So if you click that link and you order this one, the Dining on a Dime classic edition, I believe right now you'll see they're 50% off. So that's a good deal. Yeah. And because you use that link, she gives me a few bucks because I advertised it, but it doesn't cost you any more. So it's a win-win for everybody. So thank you for coming by. I'll see you probably next Monday uh, from uh, either Massachusetts or upstate New York. We're going both places. And oh, and I had a wonderful Mother's Day and I hope you did too. And heartfelt thoughts for those who were sad on Mother's Day because I know we need to be sensitive to those people who find Mother's Day difficult. So for those who are sad on Mother's Day, I offer you prayers and blessings and comfort. And for those who had a wonderful Mother's Day, we're thankful for you too, and that you've had a good experience. And I had all six, I had six of my seven kids here, and we're going to go see my son that wasn't here who lives in Massachusetts this weekend. So we, I love you all. Thanks for coming by. And I'll be looking in detail at the uh, comments after I sign off and answering some of you there because it's easier for me. Bye-bye, everyone. God bless.